All right. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Woo. <laughs> okay. So um, this is the scream in the bathtub. And yeah. So these recordings are from this actress I recorded. I did another horror project a few years back. And for that one, I was really looking for the perfect scream. I mean, the perfect horror scream is something that's very iconic in horror films. And it's like, there's this whole thing about scream queens. For this other project, I recorded a bunch of screams that I never used anywhere else. And there was especially one that screamed so loud that I actually had to change the mic. I mean, the first mic simply couldn't take the level of her scream. It was like, it was so massive. So that's actually kind of the main scream here in this sequence. So you didn't do a specific recording session for that scream particularly? I recorded screams both with Alyssa and also with Jenny Osanda, who did a lot of the demon voices in the film. But none of those screams had this kind of like piercing power that this old scream had. But I mean, we use a lot of their screams other places in the film. But for this specific one, it just had to be so piercingly sharp. I can tell you that like doing a good scream, it's an art in itself. It was really important to director Lee Cronin that the approach to voices and the demon voices and the screams in this film was very organic. From the beginning, he talked about The Exorcist, the way that in that film, when the child becomes like possessed, then they use the voice of an old actress who has this like rusty yeah. voice. Your mother's in here with his cash. Would you like to leave a message? It's so scary because it's a human voice, but it's clearly not the girl's yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah. But it's very organic. So here comes the animal screams. All right. So this animal scream is built on a few different kind of animal sounds, but the main element is actually a very angry camel that I recorded in Egypt, actually just very close to the pyramids. There was this camel going crazy when I saw my recorder and then it just got very angry. I think everyone around the camel was kind of scared of what was happening, but as a sound recorder, you're just standing there, like, quiet and just, like, being very happy that it's making all these crazy sounds. I pitched it down a little bit, I think, but it really has this growling, intense, evil sound. And here comes the double bass. So that's pushing, I think, pushing the strings across the whole body of the double bass. Oh, wow. I don't remember the, what the coffee maker is doing, but... How many tracks of coffee maker are there? <laughs> that's important. That's important information. <laughs> So a rising hiss element. Exactly. It's a, it's a pitch. Um, I use this uh, 
graphic picture where you can kind of pitch things. Pitch in time? Yeah. Is it yeah. the... No, it's actually just the... What is it called? Elastic? Yeah, the sound shifter. Sound shifter, is that Waves? Yeah, yeah I think so. And you're like just... So your Is that just a plugin you're automating or... No, I I do... I usually do a proce processing on the sounds first. Oh, okay. Uh, As in you audio suite the... Yeah, so I audio suite the effects and then I... Because then I have the... I feel a little more free to kind of do what I want with the sounds. Yeah. So this is one long sound that I pitched, but then I want to change perspectives and so on. So um, that's why it's cut up like this. And then I get this kind of rising tonal thing. But it also has this coffee maker ha has this. I mean, now I remember why we like uh -huh. why I'm using the sound that sounds a little bit like a a throat gurgling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it was also to create some witness so that you really get this feeling of, like, almost like if the microphone was inside of her mouth while she's screaming. Can you open Sound Shifter real quick? Yeah. Um, I'm just curious what you what you were doing. So you just put in the sound. Oh, okay. That little... You can kind of do... I mean, it's very basic. You kind of make different, and then you can make it rise up more towards the end. So for the scream, I was just like, oh, I need a sound in there that also kind of has that electrical kind of thing mm -hmm. in it. Like all the supernatural powers make the whole electrical installation fall apart right. almost. So these are electromagnetic recordings. It's from a really great uh, Italian library, Unidentified Sound Objects. They oh, made cool. these really cool, uh, a really cool library called Unseen Noises. Mm -hmm. And it's that's where these things come from. It would kind of create that extra tension, but it's also a sound that really makes sense. Mm -hmm. And that's really supporting that high end on exactly. that scream. Yeah, yeah. And adding some extended and, and frequencies. Push, and, yeah, yeah. And you can push that sound up really loud and it just gets. Yeah. It really goes in your ears. Yeah, yeah. So in this way, it's, it's kind of like a way of building like all the different frequencies in the frequency spectrum. So I both have some low end that I can kind of play with, I have some mid rangey stuff. Uh, which is kind of the voice, and then I have the real super high frequency stuff, which is the electrical noises. Nice. That's also why I feel so impactful. It's kind of like, it's, I mean, her voice is cutting through everything, and you're kind of, that's the main sound you're okay. kind of like focusing on with your ears, but there's so many other things which create this kind of really powerful sound, uh, this powerful sound where it feels like, it's just hitting you, hitting your body and your ears and your brain at once. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was a fun one. Yes. Yeah. Then that's the sound of the lips closing. Oh, yeah. I love that. The <laughs> chomp. Yeah. Because you got uh, the teeth clack in there, too. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's a, it's a Foley mixed with an FX. But okay. Good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of wetness. Cool. So that's the uh, eight Foley sounds. Eight Foley sounds for one chomp. <laughs> and it's perfect. Do you want the lead in with the music? Uh, yeah, like a little context would be good. So the music leading up to it.
obviously leads into her scream with exactly. the music. That's yeah. really cool. And yeah, we mix it like it was sound effects, so that this thing like where we go underwater, that we the music yeah. also goes underwater. Yeah, I love that. And so it's it creates a really nice break too. Yeah. It's like it's cinematic, but it's also just like utilitarian yeah. <laughs> as far as just giving everyone a break. Yeah, yeah for it gives you this dynamic. <laughs> like it's that was really important. So, I mean, the rest of it is all the other stuff that's happening around her. Okay. So it's the like the things rattling and like the the boiling water and like all of that. So I think what you've got now is actually like the elements that turn into the screen. I see. Okay. And we have all those sounds around. I mean, there's also sounds of the mirror cracking and right. all those things. Yeah. yeah. 